This story is about my journey into the world of music. Although I started piano lessons at the age of five, I didn't get serious about it until I was a teen. Thinking back, this helps me figure out how and why I ended up making music a life career. We began this story in a little town called Newport, Ohio. My family moved here in 1955. I was 12 at the time. I spent my teenage years here until age 17. Our house was on the banks of the Ohio River. The house was built in 1810 and at one time was a stagecoach stop. Full of history and very scenic as we would watch the river boats pass by day and night. My bedroom windows faced the water and would turn the light switch on and off at night and the river boats would respond by shining their spotlight at my room. My schedule as an early teen was up at the break of dawn and run my paper route. I had a bike and would pedal all over Newport with the morning paper. In the summers, I would work for farm market people, picking beans, corn, dig potatoes. Then I would become a salesman at the roadside market. A couple of summers, I worked at a peach orchard picking peaches. That was a memory, nothing like peach fuzz from head to toe. But at age 16, I was able to buy a car with the money I earned at the various jobs. Oh, I forgot about the soda jerk job at St. Mary's, West Virginia. St. Mary's was just across the river and it was a much larger town. It had the only movie theater in a 30 mile radius. My eighth grade through junior and high school was spent at Newport schools. I did transfer to St. Mary's, West Virginia for my senior year because of the music program. They had one of the best marching bands in the state. Well, back to my daily routine. After school, I would immediately go to the piano and play. I didn't look at it as practice. I did the same thing with the trombone. Keep in mind, there were no video games, computers, only a couple black and white channels on a TV. And looking back, I think the lack of distractions really helped me develop my piano and music skills. I always looked at it as fun, not work. Work was mowing the grass. We had an acre of grass that I maintained. At night, I would go to bed and turn on the radio. I listened to stations all over the South and really liked the blues stations. I would spend hours listening to all styles of music. The band director at St. Mary's taught a music appreciation class that I really looked forward to attending. I learned how to separate the instruments and break down arrangements, which helped me to this day in sequencing songs. I would say what helped me the most in developing my music skills was the lack of distractions, listening and developing an ear. With enough playing, technique will come. I also think having a vision and a good mental attitude has a lot to do with your progress as a musician. <laughs>